In this training video, we're going to look at creating and designing our very own slide in Slide Master View and then applying it to a second Slide Master design within Slide Master View. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my View tab. And in this presentation, we can see that there's two themes applied to different slides. One's a, a white background theme. Second slide's got a light green, it's called a wispy theme. So there's two themes applied and being used through Slide Master. So I'm going to go through my Slide Master view. And we can see that Slide Master 1, and we might say, what is that design? Well, if you hover the theme, we can now see there's a theme against it, and it's called Retrospective. The wisp one, the, the green one, is called a wisp theme. So these are the two that are in play. We, we, we've got a retrospective and a wisp theme. So for example, the retrospective design happens to come with its own big slide, number one, which is the global slide master, plus the individual masters for each slide. And the wisp design comes with its own big number one, the global, and it's also its own designs. Now you might see the one design has more slides than the other. So this sometimes happens whereby some designs actually have more slides than another slide master. Now what I want to do in this example, at the bottom of slide master one, I want to insert my very own slide. So I don't want to insert a brand new slide master. I want to insert a new layout into a particular slide master, which in this case is slide master one. So I'm going to click the last slide in slide master one, and I'm going to click insert layout. Now what that's given me, it's given me a slide, and if I hover over it, it's called it custom. So that's called custom lay layout. I'm going to re rename this, and I'll call it holiday snaps slide. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to rename it. And I'll call it not custom but holiday snaps slide. Now I can I can decide how I want the slide to work. So I might say what do I want on the slide. So this is where you use the insert placeholder information. So you can put charts on there, I can put a table on there, I can put smart art. I might say I want a bit of text. So I'm going to put the text so someone can write. So I want that in a certain position. So that's where the people can write. But I, only, I don't only want them to write, I want other things on there in this particular design. So I'd like to see a chart on there. And I'll make the chart quite wide. But besides the chart, I also want to see in this particular design, a smart art. So what I've now done, I've now designed my own slide called Holiday Snaps with the layout I want. But if I look for this slide within the second slide master, you'll see the different names. If you hover over them, keep hovering, section ones, go through a bit more, to content, comparison, go a bit more, title, blank, content with caption, picture and caption layout, title and caption, quote, name card, quote name card, true or false, vertical, and the last one, vertical. So I can see that 
the slide that I just designed, which is called Holiday Snaps, has not applied, has not copied itself to the second slide master. So you might say, well, I want that available in all my masters. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the slide I designed, which is the Holiday Snaps. So if I hover over the slide, it says Holiday Snaps. I'm going to right, I'm going to now right click the slide and copy it. And I come down to the bot, the last slide within the second slide master. Right click. And paste. So now I've used the, the right theme with the, the new slide, which I've now copied from the original slide master. Now you can see it's kept its name holiday snaps. So what I've done now, I've designed my own slide, which I've copied to, which I've now I've created in the one slide master, but I've also copied to a second slide master. So we've now learned to create your very own slide design within the slide master view of Microsoft PowerPoint, and it can be copied between slide masters. I'm now going to close slide master view down and actually insert the new slide which we've now created and see how, what it looks like. So I'm going to close the slide master view down. Now, if I look at the the way that these slides are going, all the odd slides are the retro, retrospect design, and all the even slides are the the light green wisp design. So when I come down to ten, that's saying that. This is that this happens to be at this stage the wisp design. Well, if I now want to insert a new slide, I can now say, well, which one do I want? Because I've now got the wisp, and I've got the retrospect. Well, I'm going to choose the retrospect. So I'm going to insert the retrospect holiday snaps slide, and there we go. And you might say, what does a chart look? Well, what does a smart art look like? I'll just quickly do a smart art. So if I click Smart Art, I can put a. There's different processes. We could do a process arrows. There's lots of different ones. Okay, so there's a little process, and you could do a little chart within PowerPoint. And let's quickly do a chart. See what it looks like. And there's a chart within PowerPoint. So that's the way the new slide would look. We'd put text in. I'll just put some information in. And the design would have text on the left hand side, a chart in the top towards the right hand side, and then you'd have a smart art process. So that's all come from the new design, which we designed within slide master view inside the view tab so this concludes in this training video the example of creating your own slide putting new content into it whether it's a placeholder for a chart or smart art or a picture or a video design it yourself put your text in the, in the position you'd like to put it in then putting it in the, in the correct position you'd like to add it to a slide master. If you've got multiple slide masters, you can then copy it to a second slide master. And this then creates the example within this training video of how to create new slides and apply new slides within a slide master and copying it to multiple slide masters. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.